Healing is important for all of us. We are, because of original sin in this fallen world, we're wounded and we're uh, suffering. The good news is Jesus heals. He did three basic things during his ministry. He preached the good news, he cast out demons, and he healed people. Jesus wants to heal us. He has powerful healing graces for each of us. Now, sadly, I know some people can become desperate for healing. They feel as though God's not listening, and they'll go to all sorts of occult uh, practices and spiritualists. And frankly, uh, our experience has been very negative. When, after people go to these sort of uh, occult healings, uh, they come back worse than ever. So let's trust in Jesus. Let's go to him. Let's open our hearts to Jesus. So let's pray right now. Let's open our hearts and feel and think and bring to mind uh, those places that we want healing for ourselves and for our loved ones. Repeat after me, Jesus, I open my heart to you. Jesus, I open my heart to you and welcome your sacred heart into my life. May the power and healing of the Holy Spirit now come upon me and all my intentions. Let the light of that Spirit shine in my entire being and cast out the darkness. And now open your heart to Jesus and tell him, beseech him uh, what graces you need. And while you're praying to Jesus, I'll pray Psalm 31 for all of us. Lord, incline your ear to me. Make haste to rescue me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Free me from the net they have set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, Lord, God of truth. I will rejoice and be glad in your mercy. Once you have seen my misery and gotten to know the distress of my soul, you will not abandon me into the enemy's hands, but will set my feet in a free and open space. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I am in distress. Affliction is wearing down my eyes, my throat, and my insides. My life is worn out by sorrow, and my years by sighing. My strength fails in my affliction. My bones are wearing down, but I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My destiny is in your hands. Rescue me from my enemies, from the hands of my pursuers. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your mercy. How great is your goodness, Lord, stored up for those who fear you. Though I had said in my alarm, I am cut off from your eyes, yet you heard my voice, my cry for mercy, when I pleaded with you for help. Love the Lord, all you who are faithful to him. The Lord protects the loyal. Be strong and take heart, all who hope in the Lord. Let us pray for the healing angels to come, God's messengers. Saint Raphael, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the healing angel, pray for us. And now I'll pray that the power of the Holy Spirit, the healing of the Holy Spirit, come upon each one of you. 
May the blood of Jesus wash over your mind and heart and your entire being. May the blood of Jesus wash over you again and again and again. May the blood of Jesus wash over you again and again and again. Bring healing and peace. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, may you be at peace. And know and trust that God will and does heal you. He may not completely take away your sufferings because this life is a veil of tears, but he will always give you the strength and the courage and the grace to endure in faith, whatever comes. Once again, in the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, may you be at peace. And may Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.